Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about the Unity Game and Game Dev Assets Bundle again. Why are we talking about it again? Well, frankly, they just went and added more stuff to it. Yep, this bundle, which is arguably one of the best bundles yet for Unity developers, it just got a lot better. Also, coincidentally, the stuff we're looking at today can actually be used outside of Unity, which I will show you part of this video. But, yep, they added more stuff to it, and frankly, if you've already bought the bundle, you get all of the stuff at the tier you bought it. So if you bought the maximum tier, you're going to get everything we are talking about today. So let's go take a quick look at what is new in this bundle. I'm not going to cover the details of this bundle itself. I've already done videos on that. I will link those down below. Link to the bundle itself as well. But what you will see is they have added the Snaps Prototype Asian Garden, Snaps Prototype Car Park, uh, Snaps Prototype uh, Sci-Fi Urban, Snaps Asian Garden, and at the highest tier, we have the Snaps HD Sci-Fi Urban, which I'm going to go hands-on with, and the, sci the um, Art HD Car Pack. Now, these HD ones, they're also a great deal more expensive, but these are asset packs actually made in a modular manner by Unity themselves. So we've got two sets of things here. We've got the prototype packs, which are low resolution, simple polygon models uh, designed to work with the standard pipeline or the the um, the light uh, the ERP. Um, and then we've got so we got three sets of those: the car park, uh, the Asian garden we just looked at, the car park as I mentioned, and then sci-fi urban. So again, these are much lower resolution things, and you can see by the the dollar value attached to them, they're not going to set the world on fire. So the big three here, and these are all HDRP assets. We now have the Asian Garden asset available here, so you can see some of the things there. Uh, we've got the Car Park assets, as you can see right here. All the things you would expect to see in a, uh, at times, terrifying car park. Uh, but, yep, a bunch of assets for creating a car park. And then finally, the one that we are going to look at today is the Sci-Fi Urban. This is an urban landscape in a sci-fi manner. All of these are for the HDRP. Uh, notice this comment down below. We'll get back to that in just a second. But first, let's go take a look at the Art HD one. By the way, the other assets in this pack, I've been focusing on a lot of them, mostly on not content art stuff, but more on the uh, the plugin side of things. So if you're interested, I've already covered Peak. I have covered Clazels and I have covered you modeler. So if you want to learn about any of those things that are in this overarching pack, I've linked those videos down below as well. Plus there are a couple of games in this pack, games that were made with Unity, such as Mars, Drone, and so on. So it is an exceptional deal. And now let's go take a look at some of the new stuff here. So I've literally just loaded up one. This is an HDRP project. And what you are looking at right here is um, the sci-fi one, the HD sci-fi pack. And yeah, it's chugging around on my machine for reasons I can't fully understand. This is on my 1080 external GPU. Uh, but you can see all of the various different assets in action in nauseating slow motion as the... So I think we're... Yeah, so all of a sudden we're compiling some more shaders right here. So I'll give it a pause while it's finishing that. All right, here we go. So what you see is a number of assets go together to create this sci-fi-esque world that is causing very unhappiness to my uh, computer at this point in time. This, by the way, 1080 GPU, uh, there's something else at play here. But if you're wondering what these packs consist of, well, they install in the folders uh, Asset Store Originals under the Assets. Once you've installed them, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. In this case, you've got the Sci-Fi Colony. If you install one of the prototyping packs, it'll be here. You're going to notice, though, if you come in and take a look at some of the assets here, um, they're not going to look right. They're not going to have the proper materials because these are not designed for the HDRP. Whereas the high def render pipelines, well, stuff obviously is going to look better. So here we see we got a bunch of materials to go together to create a sci-fi world. You can obviously use these for commercial projects, by the way. Uh, so here we've got a number of, well, let's go look at the prefabs because prefabs are going to put the materials and the models together in a way that can be dragged and dropped into your world. So we've got a number of different structures that go together to build the various different buildings. So for example, here we've got various different building pieces. Building B, building uh, C, building A, and then we've got lamps, roads, and storefronts, such as this one, chosen somewhat at random. We'll let the shader compile in. Oh, I think I just picked a door. Probably not the most exciting door you've ever seen. And hurry, shader, hurry, hurry. I have no idea why things are running so slow. All right, there we go. So you see, it has compiled. It is 
quite literally a door. So those are the various different structured prefabs you've got. You've also got prop prefabs, various different things you can use in the world, pipes, benches, signs, and so on. And you obviously use all of these various things together to create something like the scene that we looked at originally. Uh, which is now closed up. But you get the idea of what you're dealing with here. It is all put together in this colony scene right here. And um, it, it's just basically modular building kits for building, in this case, sci-fi scenes. And you can use these things in various different ways. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, oh God, that's making me sick. Uh, you, you see all of the pieces you're seeing here, everything here ultimately came and is included in the pack. So this is the kind of levels you can create. So on top of this one, we've also got the HD version of the Asian Garden, and we have the Car Park one as well. These things are between, say, one and four gigabytes in size. If you want to go ahead and add one of them, basically go into Window, go to Package Manager. We've all seen this if you've watched any of the earlier videos. Go on down here into My Assets, and you will find them here. Now, uh, Snap's stuff has been featured in a lot of Humble Bundles. But I didn't actually have any of these already, so they seem to be new. Now, interesting note. Okay, what are you doing, computer? Okay, still do not know why this pack is making my computer so extremely unhappy, but it might be something due to this. So I, I turned the scene off in the background, as you can see here. And this is the key part of this. This HDRP package uh, is compatible with Unity 2018.4 due to changes in the HDRP. Yes, welcome to that ongoing thing I like to rail about, the fragility of modern day Unity. Yeah, well, these are not technically compatible with the most recent 2019.x releases. They are going to update them, though. So um, we are working on bringing the content to the most recent version soon. So hopefully, especially because they featured these assets, they will up be updated shortly. But other than, I don't know, that might be why things are being so brutally slow on this computer. Um, the... The assets, hopefully, when they do get updated, we won't have any of those performance ramifications or if that's what is actually causing these problems and issues. Now, as I mentioned earlier on off the hop, you can actually use these assets outside of Unity. Let's go here to the uh, the root directory here, and we're going to show this in Explorer. All right, show in Exploder. So here we go. We're opening to the file directory. So there's the snap stuff, and here is the uh, high definition stuff. And let's go in, take a look in the models directory. And we'll look at structures, and you will notice something. These are FBX files. Dun, dun, da, da. So, in theory, you can use these however you wish. There are a ton of them in here, and they're literally just FBX files. So, you, you can use them in Blender if you wish. You could use them theoretically in another game engine. I would, of course, be sure to check the licensing on this. Uh, but And the, the shaders and everything are obviously Unity specific, but you will find all of the models are ultimately just FBX files. So you can go ahead and use those as you wish. Uh, go on back here to the root directory. We will see the textures for everything are organized in here, and they are ultimately PNG files. So you can also use them however you ultimately wish as well. So that is it. That That is the new additions to this bundle. So we've got these two new Snaps HD packs right here in the highest tier uh, at the $30 level, I'm guessing that is. At the $25 level, we have the Snaps um, Sci-Fi Urban prototyping, and then the, the other HD one, the Asian Garden. And then if we jump down to the uh, $25 Dollar, okay, 20, okay, I'm not getting the money, the <laughs> calculations here, so I, I don't know actually what that works out to anymore. But at that tier level, you get the car park and the Asian garden in the, the prototyping version. So uh, to kind of spread them in between the tiers, second highest tier, third highest tier, and highest tier, uh, they're, they're all kind of intermixed. But what we just saw here is this one, the uh, Sci-Fi Urban. As I mentioned earlier, in terms of size, these things all kind of run the gamut. You can actually see before you go ahead and download them uh, in the package manager. So for example, this one here is 1.54 gigabytes, and the Asian Garden HD is... 11.7 gigabytes in size. So yeah, that one's going to take a while. And then your car park is 1.16. So they all kind of vary in size between one and, well, apparently uh, 11 gigabytes in size. And then of course we got the prototyping packs. These ones are tiny. Uh, so this one's eight megabytes. Uh, this one here is, oh, I think I'm locking up again. 
Oh, no, we're good. All right, four megabytes and so on. So the prototyping stuff is obviously a great deal smaller, but if you're going for that low polygon art look, hey, it could still be useful to you as well. So I got to say, once again, uh, one of the best bundles yet for game developers, uh, for Unity game developers specifically, just got better with another six editions. Let me know what you think, what you think of the Snaps Pack in general. Like I said, they've been offered in pre previous bundles that we've seen. Uh, but again, I I'm not seeing overlap in my library. When you go and check out, you can go to your Unity library, do a search for Snaps, and you're going to find out if you own any of this stuff already. If you don't, hey, it might be worth considering. And as I mentioned off the hop, this is actually useful outside of Unity, as are the Polygon packs right here, uh, and a couple of these other things. They've actually got assets that could be used in um, other game engines or, or uh, content creation tools as well. So uh, I, I don't think I would actually buy this just to get the Snap stuff. But if you already bought this, you got everything here for free. If you haven't bought it yet, well, you've just got six more reasons to consider this bundle. Again, all the details will be linked down below. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.